Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Black Friday's basically started already on FC24. We've got the best of Team of the Week in packs. We've got a massive Player of the Month Mbappe SBC and so many news pieces and leak related things to talk about today on this video. And of course, all of that is making the market crash. Prices are down everywhere on all sorts of cars as, as people are getting ready for the madness that is about to unfold today, tomorrow, and throughout this weekend on this game. So we have to talk about a lot of things today. I really want to also cover buying some cards for teams and cards we're going to be careful with because they're coming back in packs today. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's SBCs. And we have to start with the Kylian Mbappe Player of the Month. Now, it's, it's coming in at 20 squads. It requires 11 Team of the Weeks and 3 in this 185 rated squad. That was a bit interesting. It's fewer squads than I thought it was going to be, but the price is up there. The price is coming in right around 4 million coins. I keep refreshing this. It's right around 4 mil, 3.8, 3.9 today. It's probably going to end up rising above 4 million coins in, during this weekend if fodder rises like we expect it to do. And uh, at that price, it's just expensive enough to be, hmm, maybe not interesting a lot of people, but it's also at a price where it's like you're willing to do it, right? And that's the perfect price probably for Black Friday because this is going to make people want to go and open more packs because they'll be able to craft this SBC with a lot of the big store packs that will be out during this weekend's promo. So 3.9 mil, it does seem a bit overpriced. The most interesting thing about this card is they changed the playstyle plus. He usually has quick step plus, but he now has rapid plus, which I think maybe makes his card a little bit less meta, but it makes his card actually stand out from his other ones that he has because he'll be faster at a sprint speed and not as fast with the acceleration still be very fast he's 98 pace he's still Mbappe it's a small difference but it comes down to personal preference some people aren't doing the SBC because of that fact right there now we have to talk about fodder right away in regards to this because I know a lot of you guys have invested and the answer to fodder is should you sell it the answer to that is no we are holding our fodder 90 rated to like 57k Kevin De Bruyne was like 67 68,000 coins and the 89s have started to creep up in value as well but we are holding the line here guys because this is just the beginning right what this did today was it increased the high rated fodder and increased the floor of that fodder because now this SBC which is an Mbappe SBC regardless of whether we think uh, people think it's too expensive or not there's going to be a lot of people that end up doing it because player of the month Mbappe for the past couple of years in this game has just been a staple card people can do this I'm thinking about doing this squad because this is a guy I can put in my team and probably rock till team of the season man you know that that sort of thing is possible here I've got a squad ready to go I have not submitted it yet I'm not committed but I'm very sincerely thinking about committing this SBC and having myself an untradeable Mbappe for basically the rest of the year. And that's why people are going to be interested in doing this one. So that's why we're going to hold the fodder because, again, like we've mentioned, it is the other SBCs coming during Black Friday that we are really going to see the fodder rises for. And think about it right now. For a lot of people that are going to do Mbappe, how, how many people are opening packs? We got more cards coming packs today. Everybody's waiting to open their packs until this weekend when everything's going to be in. That's when the prices for fodder are going to start to rise on the higher tier in the middle ranges as well because people are actually going to be doing the SBCs then. So that's why we're holding the fodder for sure. Fodder on the lower tier, like 84s and 85s, with the packs in the store yesterday, actually became even more viable. I need to go out and buy some more 85s on bid for like 6.5k because that's a pretty good price. 86s at 10k is great. 84s at the 3.2 to 3.3k uh, k range is a really good price for 84s as well to hold in your club or on your transfer list throughout this weekend. Now, let's take a look at the other SBCs, of course. We had the 82 plus player pick, which is repeatable unlimited amount of times, which is nice. I wish it was one squad, not two, but that's just a personal preference. The 81 plus double upgrade is, ne is decent as well. It's going to be a place for you to put rare golds as you're opening packs this weekend, if you're opening packs. It's another upgrade pack, right? I'm not complaining. It's a nice 80 double, or uh, sorry, the 81 double, right? The 80 double is still there from the FC Pro Live. And we also have the daily login, which the daily logins are always nice, but this one requires 11 bronzes. Uh, which is a bit more than what we usually have, but it at least is easy to do. You can do bronze pack method if you need um, some bronzes to get that done. And of course, you've got a uh, objective that lines up with that. It is a six completion objective. The packs are 
Honestly, the packs are just giving you a few gold cards to either go into put into flash SBCs or, or whatever else. You get a rare players pack at the end. It's not the best daily login that we've ever seen, but it's at least something and it's decent. Now, also, when we talk about SBCs, we have seen the first few flash SBCs already, guys, and they kind of hide back here. Um, they kind of hide behind like all these uh, the player SBCs from the pros, but those are going away today. Black Friday Flash Challenge 3 is the one that is out right now. This is, of course, the third one. So far, these Flash SBCs have been pretty mid. A couple untradeable packs. I think only one of them was tradable, or maybe two of them. Uh, they've been all of them pretty cheap. This one's 31 chemistry, 75 overall. It's 6,000 coins to do. So, I mean, again, this is like the last probably opportunity you'll have to stock your club with non-rare golds and maybe some silvers to get ready for more of these flash SBCs coming out in the next today and tomorrow those are really going to start to ramp up and they're going to get better so i would say stock your club with those maybe after division rivals rewards today that could be a time to go ahead and do that now also we have cards that are in packs starting with the best of team of the week we have got Lewa, Van Dyke, Griezmann, Valverde, Hyunmin Son, Usman Dembele is in there. Um, the Rodrigo that just went out of packs from Team of the Week 9 is actually back in as well in this Best of Team of the Week. So, you know, it's a solid Best of Team of the Week, but that is all that is in packs right now. There's going to be more added today. Team of the Week 10 is out as well, which is, again, a nice Team of the Week squad. If this is a random week, Luis Diaz, Salah, uh, Robinson and uh, Bonmati. There are no dynamic images. That is the problem. Um, I guess for some reason, the earlier team of the week this year from international play had dynamics. This one doesn't. Araujo in this team of the week as well. So it's a decent team of the week, but these cards are all cheap, of course, because people are expecting a lot of pack supply this weekend. Nobody's like buying those to hold on to at all right now. And the, of course, the best of team league cards that we mentioned, those prices dropped off a ton as well. I think Karchao is like 55k now. Usman Dembele was 400,000 coins for his inform card. And now he was he was under 300k. I don't know where he's at right now, but a lot of these cards have gotten very yeah, he's 290, 280 right now. So, a lot of those cards have dropped off. They're probably going to drop even further. Now, let's look to today because you maybe saw that loading screen as we are first coming in to start the video ea didn't drop all of the cards that are going to be in packs that are re-releases yesterday they're going to be dropping more today the best of campaigns so we have best of team of the week we have best of campaigns and the thunderstruck promo that are all going to be in packs as of today and tomorrow now thunderstrucks are not coming in packs today but these cards are and based off of how many players are in the best of team of the week i believe foot sheriff said there was going to be like 60 to 70 special cards in packs at the same time i don't know if that includes the thunderstruck promo or not but if it doesn't we could be looking at 40 or 50 of these cards coming back into packs today i have a feeling that it might include um that thunderstruck promo as well so maybe there's like only 20 or 30 of these coming but centurions road to the knockouts and trailblazers some of these cards are going to get re-released today we need to know a list i said it yesterday we need to know a list from ea sports please ea give us a list and also um these cards when they get re-released as always it has to be mentioned they are going to drop right i've been trading a little bit i bought a harry kane at 210 yesterday sold them at 230 just in the fluctuations of the panic watching this rafael layout right now he was down all the way to 700k looks like he's rebounding a little bit at the moment sophia smith was 500 600 000 coins she is down a lot as well she is 440k actually i might try to win this one on bid here in a second because she might have a quick rebound but if they go into packs today you're not going to want to hold on to them because they will 100 drop in price and you won't want to be owning one of those cards when that happens because EA is also going to be putting out more lightning rounds, guys. They put out a bunch of lightning rounds yesterday, or well, one lightning round, a bunch of store packs. They also reorganized the store so that you see some of the most expensive packs first. The packs they want you to buy and are the most interesting, they're going to order. They tweeted about this. They're going to order those at the front, and then they're going to order the other ones at the back. But they put through some of those, the breakthrough packs, um, Regular 100K packs. You've got the massive 450K Dynamic Duo Icons pack. That is only one pack that you can open throughout the entire weekend. But they are going to be dropping more lightning rounds today, guys. They're going to be dropping more packs because EA wants to get that dough. They want to make the bread. They want to sell the packs. They want to make the money. That is their motivation this weekend. 
for sure. So that is why I do believe you're going to see a lot of packs in the store today. And of course, with more player items coming in packs today, that is just more stuff that EA can try to do to sell some packs. Now, people are more getting excited to open packs though. Not today. We're talking tomorrow. We're talking Friday because these are the leaks for the Black Friday Thunderstruck cards. This is nuts, okay? Like, this this is crazy. This is absolutely crazy that the promo team, number one, is this big, and number two, that this promo team is this big, and all of these cards are live. Remember this? We talked about it with the icons yesterday. It's with these cards as well, the regular promo players. These are live items, guys. Bernardo Silva representing Manchester City. Neymar and Vinny, both of the big Brazilian left wings, are in this promo. Alfonso Davies. Jolinton, Bremer, Fakir, Gabriel Jesus, Rafael Varan is getting a special card. Joe Gomez is getting a special card. Ansu Fati, a lot of people did him as an evolution. He's getting a card. Katoto, Diani. I mean, Diani is perfect timing for the links to the Basha that like so many people have done via SBC because her card is so good in this game. We're getting a lot of promo cards this weekend, and Foot Sheriff did say that they might be released kind of like in batches or with mini releases and that's kind of how ea makes it seem with dropping best of team of the week yesterday dropping the best of campaigns today and then dropping the thunderstruck cards tomorrow maybe they're going to release like a couple mini releases throughout the weekend just to try to keep you interested in opening packs that seems very very likely for these cards but again this is how the cards are going to upgrade and there's a little bit of um you know, clarity that we're still seeking in this situation because there's one small thing I'll show you, but this is like Neymar's potential upgrade scenario, right? If Al Hilal win one game, this is better than the icons, I think. For the actual promo cards, if Al Hilal win one game, he gets a plus inform upgrade. So one game, boom, upgrade. That's awesome. Second game that is a win gets him plus two regular play styles, not a play style plus just regular play styles. And then if they win a third game inside of the time period, he gets another inform upgrade. So a plus two over his base already upgraded promo card. Now, the thing that's in question is this graphic here says next three domestic matches. Foot Scoreboard tweeted out yesterday and with the icons as well, it was four. So it's a little bit unclear how that's going to work. Again, it says here as well, win one game in next four. So I don't know if it's going to be four for these or three. Obviously, three and three would be a bit difficult, but three and four, you know, you'd have probably a couple more cards that would end up getting that double upgrade. But these cards are live, and that means there's a ton of hype for them this weekend in this game, and it's going to impact the market a ton. Now, this is, again, how the icons upgrade. We covered that in yesterday's video. It is exactly as it leaked before. And then the women's cards upgrade a little bit differently. They only have two different upgrade paths, but they can still get the same amount of upgrades. It just happens if they either win one game or two games. So you kind of double up with uh, the one, any of the women's players that are in the promo team. So like Katoto, Diani, um, Hemp from Manchester City. She's got the whipped pass plus Little from Arsenal. And I think I'm missing one. Maybe I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. But there's also been some other players that have been leaked that could come as SBCs. Um, so definitely watch out for that. And speaking of SBCs, we have a big flashback. We always know that we're getting a flashback during Black Friday, right? And this year, it is Alan St. Maximin. He's at least the first one. I believe Foot Sheriff leaked a couple of days ago that we could have multiple flashback SBCs. Uh, and because of this, the Saudi links and the Saudi hype is already kind of starting to, to rise. Like uh, Inform Benzema. I actually picked up a couple Inform Benzemas for 190k, 199k. I have them lazy listed right now. But that's a card that is not in packs right now. And yes... Of course, with all these insane cards coming, he could drop. But with an Alan St. Maximin SBC, that is one of the best links you will get to that ASM card. And Benzema is up 10K at the moment. So, um, you know, just watch a card like this. Watch out for your Saudi League links because this ASM will have a ton of hype, especially uh, with everybody wanting to open packs and do SBCs this weekend. That could be a really, really popular SBC. As well as De Jong is added as a SBC as well. Guys, again, you look at this promo team, you look at the players that are SBCs, it is mad. It is crazy how all out EA is going. Not that we didn't expect that, but it's just kind of crazy to see how crazy they are going. Now, a couple more icons have been leaked as well. Pushkas is coming. He's going to upgrade based off of Real Madrid. We've got Dalglish upgrading based off of Liverpool. We have Pires on Olympic Marseille. We've got Cafu, who's going to upgrade based off of Roma. We also have an SBC for Kuti Romero, who's going to be upgrading for Tottenham. 
Uh, and then I think that's all. Nope, we have Gerd Muller as an icon as well, based on Bayern. I think some people were hoping for Ribery on uh, for a Bayern upgrade card, but we're getting Gerd Muller. AC Milan is going to be Kaká, so he's getting a new card. Javi Alonso, another Real Madrid upgrading live icon card, which is just crazy to me to say that. And then AC Milan as well for Nesta, a live icon card. Never would I have really thought that I would be saying a live icon card. So the players coming into packs tomorrow look absolutely freaking nuts. And it's going to change the way that the market works this weekend. And guys, the market is crashing like crazy. I want to look at some prices and just take a look at some graphs too. This is the index icon from yesterday. But this kind of summarizes how a lot of the market has been over the past day. Take a look at like the UCL Luka Modric. He is down from 330K all the way down to 270. He's bounced back up a little bit. Yesterday, like expected, was a huge day of panic selling. And some cards have rebounded back a little bit. Was this the low point yesterday? Absolutely not. Absolutely not, guys. A lot of you are asking, Nate, when do I need to buy cards for my team? Vinny, Van Dyke, Neymar, Salah, out of packs cards, like maybe Joao Pedro, RTTK, or maybe it's Ribery. You want to buy Ribery for your team. When do I need to buy a lot of these cards, guys? With how insane this promo looks, with the cards that are coming into packs today, I can't say that now, today, is going to be a great time to buy. I actually want to take you back to last year and show you some of the same situations that we had last year in this game with Road to the Knockout cards, which then weren't even re-released back into packs. This year, some of them are going to be. Last year with Black Friday, for your out-of-pack specials and some of your most meta cards, Wamba Saka went down on the day of Black Friday, like right here. We're, we are right here of last year. We're technically like right here, this Wednesday into Thursday. 99K, 91K. He kept dropping all the way until Sunday. Saturday and Sunday of the Black Friday weekend with all the crazy packs, crazy content, and everything going on. That was when the low point happened. And then after that, it kind of started to rebound back up as the panic selling ended as the crazy content ended and his card went from 80k all the way to 114,000 coins as we headed into that next Champions League week in early December, which is kind of the same thing this year. So I'll show you another example just so we have multiple examples. Ribéry, Rule Breakers from last year. He dropped, right? This is where we were last year. He was 496 on the Thursday of Black Friday or Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to those who celebrate today in the US. Um, he was 496k. He went all the way down to 419k on that Sunday Monday time frame before then starting to rise. And I went back and looked at a lot of trends on the market last year and that was how it worked. A lot of prices dropped even during the weekend because we had so many insane SBC players, we had so much insane content that those those player prices just continued to drop um, even if a card was out of packs. Like we were looking at two cards right there that were literally out of packs because they were old promo cards so i would probably say at least to start off i think i would wait to buy a lot of cards this weekend until we get until later on in the weekend because content's not going to disappoint I, I don't believe like this is this is black friday this is where ea go all out and they go crazy i don't think they're going to disappoint with content even for a guy like neymar who's going to be out of packs his gold card right I just don't see Neymar going up a ton um, because we have so many other players coming to this game. Think about it. We're getting an Alan St. Maximin flashback who's a left wing in the, the Saudi league. That could hurt Neymar's price alone. So what I would do is I would wait. If you're looking to buy somebody like from FC Pro Live, whether it's an investment or for your team, maybe it's a triple threat player. Maybe it's a Centurions. Maybe it's an icon. Or maybe it's just like Gold VVD or Gold Vinny. What I would do is I would wait until you see some of the content get released. There could be some fluctuations on Friday, right? As you have big packs open and you have probably some people that open their packs and then go and buy back. There might be a time on Friday where you see some low points for some cards, but I have to imagine that prices will stay low during most of the weekend just because the content's going to be straight up crazy, right? And you look at this promo team and you're like, okay, a lot of people, if these are anywhere near packable, which I can't imagine they're going to be super packable, but if they're anywhere near packable, people's teams are going to be changing so much this weekend. It's not going to be until like last year. It's not going to be until Sunday, Monday, where people start to realize like, okay, the big content from the weekend, the SBCs, the players that I've packed from opening these packs, I'm thinking I'm going to start changing my team in this way. It's kind of like at the end of the weekend, the dust settles and people will maybe go out and start to buy some players for their teams. 
that's kind of where I'm looking at this from right now. I'm going to say wait to buy cards for your team until we get further into the weekend uh, after everybody opens the, all the crazy packs that they want to open. So between today's panic selling on out-of-packs cards, tomorrow for Friday, and probably between Friday and Sunday is going to be a low point. Put a price on a player that you want to buy. Of course, remember, for a Road to the Knockouts player, like let's say you want to buy Lewandowski, right? Because Lewandowski's got one more upgrade in his card. He's going to go to a 94 once they move out and, and kind of confirm moving on from their group. Lewandowski yesterday went from 530 down to 450. He's back to 515. Wara bounce, right? That wasn't his lowest point. He's going to come back down. So maybe you set like, okay, we're getting a couple strikers in this promo. We're getting a Gabriel Jesus. We're getting a De Jong SBC, though maybe during the weekend. So maybe his buy time is just a smidgen earlier because he's still a live card, links to that DeYoung. But maybe it's like, okay, when Lewandowski hopefully hits like 400K, right? Because he's been like 500, 600,000 coins. Maybe it's when he hits 400K flat. I'm, I'm happy with that price and I'm going to buy him there because you know what? I expect him to at least rebound at some point this weekend. I would expect rebounds on some of the out-of-packs cards, especially some of the pro ones, the pro live cards that have just left packs. These cards are down even lower than where they were. These cards are going to be great investments at some point this weekend. It's just kind of like buying during the weekend at a low point when there's panic, when there's a crazy sell-off because of these SBCs. After that is ending, whenever that is, probably early into the week next week, that's when I think you'll start to see some of the cards rise back up. But for gold cards like Virgil van Dijk and Neymar, I don't think the rise is going to be that crazy. In previous years, actually what you've seen is that even gold cards like Mbappe, last year Mbappe was a million coins, which is crazy to say. This year Mbappe is a, entirely a million coins more than it was last year. He only went up like 50 or 60k from when Black Friday started and when he hit his lowest price during Black Friday to like the week or two afterwards. He only went up like 70 or 80k before dropping off another couple hundred thousand coins in the month of December because of course December is a big month for content and uh, and everything as well. So that's kind of what I would say for buying teams. But again, I think the biggest thing you have to remember is the content is so crazy with so many SBCs, so many packs that have been released, is that this weekend everybody's minds kind of just get, they just get pack crazy and content crazy. And then it's all about the fodder and it's all about the SBCs. And then once the switch flips, like, oh, well, I got the SBC I wanted to get done. I opened the packs that I wanted to get done. Now it's time for me with my coins, maybe. And especially if fodder goes up over the weekend and we're selling it, that's a lot of profit that people are making. That means those coins are going to go back into other investments and other cards are going to start to rise. So I think during the weekend, specifically like Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's going to be a decent time to be looking at those players. Now, that's a long ramble about the market. Let's talk about content today on Thursday. Again, we're going to be getting content before the content drop today because of Flash SBCs. This Flash SBC number three expires before content, I think. 15 hours. Yeah, okay. Actually, it expires yeah, these expired at a really random time. Nine hours from now? That's weird. 15 hours from now, when I'm recording this, which is a bit early, we're going to get a new Black Friday Flash Challenge. Some of these will overlap a little bit, uh, but I do believe that is before content drop tomorrow, or maybe it's right at the content drop. Yeah, it's four hours before the content drop. So watch out for some Flash SBCs today. I reckon we'll get probably two, three, four more than what we did yesterday. They're kind of going to ramp it up a little bit more, I think. We will get a new set of regular marquee matchups today as well. Uh, so watch out for that. And then, guys, I could see more upgrade type SBCs. It would make sense to me today since EA is going to be releasing these RTTK, the the Road to the Knockouts cards in packs. Remember that campaign mixed player pick pack that was added to the code? Wouldn't be surprised if we had an SBC like that today or some other sort of upgrade pack just because EA is going to give us many different avenues to put our fodder in from all the store packs they want us to open this weekend. So I wouldn't be surprised with more upgrade packs. Of course, speaking of the store, more lightning rounds. Maybe that hero pack comes today. We got the icon yesterday. The double 88 max icon pack in the store yesterday would not be surprised if we had a hero pack coming out today and some more lightning rounds some more big time packs in the store and then on friday we'll talk about it in the video tomorrow on friday the store is going to go bananas there's going to be lightning rounds like every hour it's going to go absolutely crazy so uh, of course the new cards and packs tomorrow as well it's the biggest thing to watch out for with these new items Whatever ones they get, I mean, we're going to see big drop-offs. For players who maybe don't get re-released in packs, there could be a good trading fluctuation there. Like, let's say I just picked up a Sophia Smith 
for 422k just put it on my trench list while we were talking there and um let's say she's not re-released in packs today she's had a lot of hype because of the rapino links and because of krieger as the end of an era spcs this could be a card that maybe has good fluctuations and actually rebounds a bit tomorrow after uh people see that she's not in packs because maybe they go back out and start buying for their team already but i think that'd be a little bit premature i don't think you want to do that right away so again watch the price drops during this weekend i'm going to sell some of these flips that i have even if i don't make too much on benzema i hope that he keeps rising a bit but i might just end up selling him before uh content today just so that i don't have to worry about his price dropping because again we're still going to see prices dropping on the market today with all the crazy stuff coming for black Friday and everybody knows it, right? Everybody's panicking right now because it's just crazy. But I'm excited for today. I'm excited for tomorrow. And I will catch you guys in a, another YouTube video tomorrow. If you enjoyed this one, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Account. See you guys there. Peace. Out.